הצפוני וגם דרומה, אך אין מקום כמו ארץ ישראל. וכמו גלויות של נוף יפות, תמונות בזיכרוני עפות, כמו בעד עדשה של מצלמה. בתרמילי אותן אשא לכל מקום, בכל מסע, כדי פסיפס מתוך תמונה שלמה. שלום לך ארץ נהדרת, עבדך הדל נושא לך שיר מזמור, גם אם לעיתים נודד אני על דרך. Hi, <laughs> I'm Rivki Rubenstein, I'm at Migdalos. I'm Miriam Zemelman, and I'm also at Migdalos. Can you do the wave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we miss Cleveland. Can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> um, one night Rivki and I were like trying to fall asleep. <laughs> This is what we did. Like, I don't want to give anyone the impression that we're not enjoying it here, but this is what we did. We were like... Remember Fairmount and Richmond? And like the other one would go like, yeah, that's a great intersection. Like, I know. It's 100% true. Remember Mayfield and Warrensville? It's like, oh, 7-11. Oh, no, wait, that's on Belvoir. Now I'm forgetting. That. We weren't even going over places. We were going over, like, streets. Streets. Yeah, Cleveland's a really good place. We really miss, like, the community. Um, one more thing about, like, Mizrahi is um, I was showing one of my roommates uh, the yearbook. And like she's just looking at the pictures and she's like, is a bit sefer anak, meaning like, what an awesome school. And I was like, yeah, it's an awesome school. We miss it. But it's good here. Shalom lach eretz nehederetz Avdech adal nose lach shir mizmor Gam im leitim noded ani al derech Ma tov lindod ach tov yoter lachzor Hi everybody, it's me, your fireman, here from Michala and Baivagan, Yerushalayim. Okay. Um, when everyone ever asks me, you know, oh, what school do you go to? And I tell them, Fuchs Mizrahi, they're like, what kind of school is that? And first they still think I'm in Cleveland, okay, I have goats and sheep in my backyard. And then when they hear what school I go to, and they still don't know what I'm talking about. And, I, and like, they just think it's so nice that everything that we learn here, like, I know so much. And they always say, oh, you know, how do you know that? And I, it just makes me feel so good. I can say oh, I learned it at Fuchs Mizrahi School. And, And it just makes me feel so good that, that like, I learned so much and I'm able to apply it here with everything else I'm learning. Um, it's very interesting to like, take what we've learned and like, see it even deeper and, and you know, with more detail. Okay, go ahead. Hey, it's Zev Hecht. I'm here learning in Israel. At, so I start off uh, with Kamara from 9 o'clock till 12.30. Then I have lunch and then I have off until 4. From 4 to 5 I have Navi. From 5 to 6 I have a Chavusa. From six to seven, there's like different shirm. There's uh, every every day there's different type, there's different vam. So I I, usually, I go to like a Israel and the like politics in Israel, or I go to like a kuzari shir. And then from seven to eight we have dinner. From eight till nine thirty I have night seder. From nine thirty to ten I learn bechavusa with another vam. From ten to eleven I have another chavusa. And then eleven to twelve I have another chavusa. So day end. Day starts seven forty five. Day ends twelve o'clock at night. How's that going? It's tough, but uh, you got to break into the system. It's hard, but after a while, you love it. You do it? Just wanted to say hi to all the Mizrahi kids. I miss you guys. Definitely come to Israel next year. A lot of awesome shivas out there. Hi, everybody. Um, hope you're all having a great Yom Atzimut. I do live in the old city, and I do go to the Kota a lot, and it's kind of crazy. And the teachers all the time make references to how that happened over there. Like, you know, Akira Yitzchak or whenever we're learning anything like that. Especially all the girls are really friendly and the, everybody smiles at you when you walk around. Uh, yeah, classes are, are always interesting. Well, not always interesting. You know, classes are, are good. Uh, I'm learning a lot of different things. Um, and I was just really well prepared by Ms. Rafi to be in a place like this. Like, you come in and... You find out that you've known all these random interesting facts from like... Eretz ba noladnu, Eretz ba nichia, Venesher ba yihie ma sheye. Eretz she nohad, in lanu em ba'ad, Eretz shel ha'am, Eretz le'olad, Uh, 
Uh, hi everybody back at home. Uh, it's John Weiner. Hi, it's Aaron Major, and we're at Yeshivat Hartzion in Alon Shvut, Israel. Just Gush itself is inspiring, as you see. The the view outside, everything, the Beit Midrash, it just it all adds up into the like this cumulative sum of just having this this experience that you can really find anywhere in Chutz Arts. Yeah, the the connection that you have here in like Arei Huda is. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's you know, it's it's pretty breathtaking because I mean you're pretty much you're sitting on the pathway that like you know Avraham Yitzchak and Yaakov went to you know to go to Yushalayim where Avraham went with Yitzchak. I mean you can see the point where he where God told him the first time that he looked on Haram or yeah like this is you know Makom Hashayivchar this is the place I'm going to show you that you know you can like see that and I mean it's just uh, I don't know it's just really cool to be in that kind of you know be in this kind of this position. Especially, I mean, especially with the beauty, and like the, yeah, and the weather, and the trees, and the, you know, just wild, like, you know, wild, palm, wild uh, fig trees that you can just go and you know, in the in the fall time and go pick some pick some pomegranates and eat them in a vineyard. It's just wild vineyards, not you know, not an orchard, like just wild. Um, hi, this is Katie. Um, as many of you know, I go by Eli Shema now, partly because Israelis Katie. Get ani lo yachol lahagid that's a ke ti like they they can't pronounce it it takes them forever so it's easier for them to say Elisheva also because I want to stay in Israel and it's not a very Israeli name it kind of sticks you out as an American like more than your miftah does so I got Rosh Hashanah presents and I got Hanukkah presents basically I got Hanukkah and lots and lots and lots of chocolate thank you Mrs Goldberg and toda and. So it's really kind of embarrassing sometimes because I'm walking around campus with this enormous like package and everyone jumps on you and asks you what it is and oh that's so nice I wish my school did that for me except that your school has a hundred graduates and mine has 14 so it's a lot easier. Okay, um, for all of you at Mizrahi who have classes and trailers because we now have eight classrooms and trailers at Mizrahi as far as I know, um, you come to Israel and you tend to see a lot more trailers. And when you tell people about your trailers from Cleveland, they get really excited and they start thinking you're really Zionist because Israelis have trailers. And if Clevelanders have trailers, they must be really Zionist, like Israelis. So here, if you see on the video, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of trailers. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny Horowitz, and I'm learning here in Yeshiva Berkat Moshe in Malay Dumim. Everything's taught in Hebrew. It's very just you know to be to live your life daily with Israelis, an Israeli in an Israeli environment is is you know what I was looking for for the year. And you know by coming here, it's definitely I definitely found it. It's definitely working. Um, I really I really feel how Israelis how Israelis how Israelis live, how they react to you know all the problems going on, how what they what they you know what what's what's special to them, what's what what it really means to be a Torah Jew living in Israel. Just I have. A whole baby Josh full of 200 role models. Cleveland's great. I love growing up there, but there's no place like here. Come to Israel and I will be here for sure. Um, hey guys, it's Kiva. I'm here in Mavisera and I'm um, having a great time. It's a completely different environment here without um, when, when I'm the only person from Cleveland and I'm not with anyone that I grew up with. In Mizrahi I was with the same people for 10, 11, 12 years in the same class and you know everything about them and you guys feel like you're really a family but in not just Mavisera but whenever you're alone, when you're uh, away for at least a year when you're in Yeshiva you realize what independence you have and you realize how you're on your own and you trace back to your roots and where you came from and you see what you actually learned from from where you came from. And I can honestly say that coming from Cleveland um, and coming from a school like Mizrahi, you can, there's, a, there's an appreciation that, that I have that I, and, I, and I 
feel like I have more of a Zionistic attitude. So I still meet up. Most of the people from our class, our graduating class that are in Israel, we still meet up pretty often, pretty frequently. Um, <laughs> I'll edit that. Yeah, pretty frequently. Um, we meet every Friday or every other Friday. We usually go out. Uh, very, very safe places. Um, and it's just we have a bond that I don't think will break for a long time because we've all grown up together and it's we can you can honestly see how we really are a family and something that I think we have all realized. Okay.